What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Coop at It's Coop on Instagram. Got little mom in the back. And we are headed to ODO, Old Dominion Open, year four for me, I think. It closed during COVID year, so it's um it's gonna be fun. ODO is always like a good event. I put this now part of like the first convention in the convention belt of the year is ODO. Starts off with ODO for me. But Nick Models is gonna be there. Shout out to the homie Nick Models, other dope builders. ODO is building, it's growing, and that's dope. Um Yeah, we're gonna have some fun. We got some kits that we're gonna put on the table. I don't know if y'all can see, but I'll show y'all when we get there. We got some kits we're gonna put on the table. The undergate is gonna represent. So CD sent out a kit, Austin got a kit. I got it. We did all three dead GMs. And I put I'm putting the dial on the table on the table too because now they have a dial category open. So I think it's called Gundam with a base. I think that's what Nick said. Something like that. But it's a Gundam dial, finally. I'm not competing against model aircraft builders with World War II reenactment scenes. So we're gonna make a day of it. Again, little mama back there. It's her first ODO. It's about to be a ride. All right, see y'all there. Coming, the judging's on place right now. Got some dope kits, Hoskins house kits. His work is becoming like eye noticeable, like for the his work in general. The bases and stuff look crazy. Uh, try to get we got unlimited GA. One of his kits he bought looks crazy as well. Undergated represented. I do get this side of the kit. Like I said, it's crazy. Try, try to get all the detail. These unicorn buses are dope. That's sick. The Haro. 
It's connected to the wireless PlayStation button. Sick. Some more work right here. This is a dope banshee right here. I like this. Real great. A lot of dope work on the table, man. Well, this was months ago. You probably picked it now. It could be. Um, I know on, on desktop for sure, you, it's like you installed some app or whatever. So he modified it. That's sick. I like that. Pencil Knight's work, y'all know. Friend of the pies. This car. I'm not about to say car. This daggone. Caliburn looks crazy, man. I definitely want to pick one up. But I know mine is not going to look like that, but that looks sick. MGSD back there by Nick Models. Sick, man. Sick, man. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all think. Here's some other categories, fantasy category. Sci-fi robot category. Mandalorian sick. But I don't know. I don't know if these are just like figures painted. Obviously, some of these are kicks. Right? It's a million in neighborhood within the community. Here we go. Hoskin House's scope dog looks sick. That looks dope. Scratch, I don't know if it's a scratch build or what. Custom ammo boxes and battery pack. I don't know what war machine this is, but it looks pretty cool, man. Shout out to Hoskin House again. Another piece of his work. Looks amazing. Talented folks around here, man. We got some talented folks. And we're back. Appreciate y'all going out with me on this little hunt. Odeo weekend was this weekend as well. Had a ball. Had a blast. Odeo is an it's called Old Dominion Open. It's the last Saturday in February. If anybody ever wants to attend, always just mark down the last Saturday in February in Richmond. That's where the Gunpla community comes together and really, really hits home, man. It's we have a community. This community is crazy. It's, it's crazy in a good way. And I was telling somebody, uh, Sunset Drive. Shout out to him. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate the support with the pod, man. Um. I was telling them, in this type of community that we're in, that whole time at ODO, I never felt like more safe at any other type of place. Especially when it's in the Gunpla community. When I go to Hobby Town, nothing feels safe. I have my daughter with me. Nothing feels safe. And that's one thing I love about this community. I enjoy it. the whole time, the whole weekend. I want more of that within our community, especially in this little pocket in Virginia. So, ODO was a blast. Appreciate everybody who uh, came through. Nick Models, uh, Hoskin House, One Punch Sam, Charles Barkley, the Vulcan crew with Heavy Metal Gunpla, Volks or Grips, uh, George from the GBWC, which was funny to me, dog. Like the, the dude that represented American GBWC, GWBC, was there. And I'm like, yo, 
He's just no, obviously a normal dude, right? But like people didn't know. People were like, oh, he's here. Like that, that was crazy to me. Um, I was able to pick his brain, and he was able to give me some knowledge. And I, that whole iron sharpens iron. Um, but there's many, many more. I can't even, I can't even get like a list of names together. Um, yeah. So shout out to everybody that showed up and showed out. The undergated we was able to put and present like um, our versions of the GMs. We did three different GMs. CD did the blue one, the blue and white one, which is the shoulder cannon GM. He just put a Gundam head on it. Austin did the GM Spartan, which looks phenomenal in person, man. Like, Austin is, is becoming crazy. That was like his second airbrush kit. looks crazy. Mom's, I did the GM Guard Custom. It was a little difficult for me because I don't do a whole lot of, like, different colorways. Y'all know me if y'all been around the pod or been around the channel. I don't do a whole lot of different colors. Like, I stick with this that colorway and maybe darken it maybe lighten it i'm trying to branch out be a little bit different grow expand so i did mine in an orange dark gray and in a darker gray or german battleship gray and copper as well for the inner frame copper and chrome for the inner frame but it was fun it was fun it was in us representing the undergated network at odio was something that we talked about it's something that it's, it's step one of what we wanted to do, wanted to accomplish, and we was able to accomplish it. We was able to get third place um, in that f for the Gundam on the base, kind of like the Gundam diorama category. And it was it was just dope to have that. I remember sitting down with CD saying, Yo, we, sh we should do start this podcast and we think it would be good for our culture. And f to have that on the table was fun. Um, but just to be able to... Uh, rub elbows, rub shoulders with people, get, like, again, pick their brain. That was the main thing I wanted to do. Yo, what do you think about my diet? What do you think about this? What could be done better? What do you like about this? What don't you like about this? That is a, a wealth of knowledge. Think about it. Like, how many different people were there from different avenues, and you picking that and absorbing it like a sponge. So when you go to these events, ask not just the Gundam people, but amps ipms people you know people that hand paint people that do it all sit down and sit down and talk with them but i don't want to say enough with that like i'm throwing it to the side but let me show you what we picked up recently i know it's been a while since i've done a coop's corner video so i did pick up a lot of sh figures recently on the pod i showed off the trunks late in the armor saiyan armor trunks um, I picked up the Nindroid, Sonic Nindroid, off of Amazon. I pre-ordered that a couple months back, and it finally came through. I, did, I took a Sonic photo with that. I've been on, like, a little Sonic kick and a little Street Fighter. Like, a little 90s nostalgic kind of kick I've been on recently. But what I picked up from the con, or ODO, shout-out to the homie Vulcan Hobby. Remember, use code UNDERGATE10 when you shot with Vulcan Hobby. He was able to bring these dope magazines. I could be just like Austin now. The Hobby Link Japan magazines. This one, another wealth of knowledge. I, I think the majority of this stuff you have to like translate, but look at this. This was what's in it. Oh, if y'all can see, the glare is killing it. But it's the metal composite figure of the Wing Zero. Oof. Had to pick up this one. And this cover. And shout out to the homie, homie Pencil Knight. If y'all not following Pencil Knight on Instagram in the Gunpla community, I had to get this book because of this cover, because of his kit. Shout out to the homie Pencil Knight again. And this is the Caliburn. The Caliburn is growing on me, people. When it comes to like the silhouette, the color, the, the rainbow inner frame, the sheesh. The monochrome looks like a unicorn style. Like, this looked like it could be in a side story for a unicorn. Like, the prototype unicorn. Or whatever whatever the case. Oh, and this one, I didn't even know this one had this in it. It is the metal composite figure of Death Scythe. So, that's dope. I'm trying to be like Austin. Get a lot more of these. These help out a lot. When it comes to like notes and what to do, what not to do. Again, using Google Translate. Um, some other packages came in. 
This one has been sitting in the back room with like the backlog stuff. I forgot I ordered this. This one came from Lunar Toys. I think when Lunar Toys is a, a low-key spot I shop with, they go on convention runs as well. So if you see them at the convention, make sure you check them out. They don't hit people over the head. And this was on the site, and they were sold out everywhere else. We picked up the legendary Super Saiyan Goku SH Fig Arts. This looks dope. Comes with whole lot of accessories Kamehameha multiple faces multiple hair sculpts the hair sculpt this hair sculpt right here when him you know kind of charging up and the bang pushed up incredible idea incredible idea by um Tamashi Nation and Bandai to think of start thinking of that so we got that into the collection last thing I shopped at Gundam Planet for this kit, I think it's one of my first times shopping with Gundam Planet, but we was able to pick up because the um, expansion parts are coming soon, people. The expansion parts. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, I, okay, I kind of remember these pickups. So, we got the expansion parts coming in soon for the Dari Blog, Dari, whatever, Dari Blog. I don't know. I like. Um, this looks sick. So we was able to pick this up. I want to paint this in this colorway. And we was also able to pick up the G Reworks for it. So we got the G Reworks uh, water slides for it as well. We was able to also pick up the G Reworks water slides for the Epion as well. Another awesome kit it's in the backlog shout out to volks for that man this looks sick the g reworks looks dope man and then we also picked up for display purposes hopefully the glare doesn't kill y'all the vertical stand for the ibo uh i'm gonna put this right beside the barbados mgsd once i get done but i like having everything together so once it's painted, decals up there, top coat with the vertical stand, it's going to look, put it somewhere up there. Oof. And that's it, uh, pretty much. I know One Punch Sam said April 13th up in Norva, which is Northern Virginia, they're in Fairfax. They're going to have another IPMS type of event. So Gunplug community, we could travel up there. That's where I want to head to and make a day of that. But I'm pretty sure that's all I got when it comes to recent pickups. I have to go in the back of the house and see what's been stashed away. But yeah, that's it. Don't forget, like, share, comment, subscribe. People, I'm Coop at It's Coop on Instagram. We drop Wednesday, every Wednesday at 3 p.m. The Undergated Podcast with me, Boss 50 the CD. Make sure you check that out. Until next time, peace.